Good morning everyone. In this report, we will going to talk about literacies specifically in terms of environment, ecology, and eco-literacies. Without further ado, let me begin first by showing you the walkthrough of my entire report. First, we will unravel the significance of the environment, ecology, and eco-literacy when it comes to general conceptions of environment, dominant educational objectives, primary pedagogical approaches, and examples of strategies. We all know that environmental literacies, ecological literacy, and eco-literacy are terms that have gained significant attention in recent years. As our world faces numerous environmental challenges, it has become increasingly important for individuals to possess a deep understanding of the natural world and their role within it. Environmental literacy refers to the knowledge and understanding of environmental concepts, issues, and solutions. It encompasses a broad range of topics such as climate change, biodiversity, loss, pollution, and sustainable development. Ecological literacy focuses on the interconnection between living organisms and their environment. It emphasizes the importance of ecological system and how they function. Eco-literacy takes this concept further by incorporating an ethical dimension. It encourages individuals to not only understand the environment, but also develop a sense of responsibility towards it. Eco-literate individuals are aware of their impact on the planet and actively seek ways to live more sustainable. In today's world where environmental degradation is rampant, promoting environmental literacy, ecological literacy, and eco-literacy is crucial. By equipping individuals with knowledge about our environment and fostering a sense of responsibility towards it, we can work towards creating a more sustainable future for generations to come. We have here the five steps on how to promote environmental literacy. The first one is the education initiatives. So implement educational programs at schools and in communities to raise awareness about environmental issues. This could include integrating environmental topics into curriculum, organizing workshops, and inviting experts to speak. The second one is the media campaigns. It utilizes various media platforms to disseminate information on environmental issues. Engage in social media campaigns, creative informative videos, and collaborate with influencers to reach a wider audience and promote environmental literacy. We have here the community involvement. It encourages community participation in environmental initiatives, organize tree planting events, clean up drives and community gardens to foster a sense of responsibility and connection to the environment. The fourth one is to cooperate engagement. Collaborate with businesses to adopt environmentally friendly practices and promote sustainability. Encourage corporate social responsibility such as reducing carbon footprints and using eco-friendly products to contribute to environmental literacy. And the last one will be the government advocacy. Advocate for policies that support environmental education and sustainability. Engage with policymakers to promote regulations that encourage environmentally responsible practices and allocate resources for educational initiatives. So, promoting environmental literacy is crucial for sustainable development. By incorporating these steps, we empower individuals to make informed decisions, cultivate a sense of responsibility, and contribute to a more environmentally conscious and resilient society. Through education, experience, and community engagement, we can pave the way for a greener future. Environmental Literacy, General Conceptions of Environment Environmental literacy refers to the knowledge and understanding of the environment, including its natural systems, human impacts, and sustainable practices. It is crucial for individuals to possess a general conceptions of the environment in order to make informed decisions and take responsible actions. A general conception of the environment encompasses various aspects. Firstly, it involves recogni recognizing the interconnection between living organisms and their surroundings. This includes understanding ecological relationships such as predator-prey dynamics and symbiotic interactions. 
Additionally, it entails comprehending the importance of biodiversity and how different species contribute to ecosystem stability. Furthermore, a general conception of the environment involves acknowledging human impacts on nature. This includes recognizing how activities such as deforestation, pollution, and overconsumption can harm ecosystems and disrupt natural processes. It also entails understanding the concept of carrying capacity and how human population growth constrains resources. And lastly, environmental literacy requires an awareness of sustainable practices that promote conservation and preservation. This includes knowledge about renewable energy resources, waste management strategies, and sustainable agriculture techniques. Understanding these practices enables individuals to make choices that minimize their ecological footprints and contribute to a more sustainable future. Environmental Literacy, the Dominant Educational Objectives So, making environmental literacy a dominant educational objective is imperative in addressing current global challenges such as, such as climate change and biodiversity loss. By equipping individuals with knowledge about the environment and fostering critical thinking skills through experiential learning opportunities, we can create a generation committed to sustainable practices. Ultimately, this will lead us towards a more harmonious relationship between humans and nature while ensuring a better future for generations to come. We have here the environmental literacy, the primary pedagogical approaches. Environmental literacy refers to the understanding of knowledge of the environment, its system, and impact on human activities on it. Primary pedagogical approaches such as experiential learning, inquiry-based learning, and project-based learning are essential for developing environmental literacy among young learners. These approaches not only enhance knowledge but also foster a sense of responsibility towards the environment from an early age. By equipping the children with environmental literacy skills today, we can ensure that become, they become informed citizens who actively contribute towards sustainable practices in the future. So we are down here to the environmental literacy, its examples of, uh, of strategies. Promoting environmental literacy requires a multifaceted approach that encompasses education, community engagement, and technology utilization. By implementing strategies effectively, we can empower individuals with the knowledge needed to protect our environment for uh, future generations. To achieve this, various strategies can be employed. Firstly, education plays a pivotal role in promoting environmental literacy, incorporating environmental topics into school curricula at all levels can help students develop an understanding of ecological system, climate change, and sustainable practices. We are down here to the ecological literacy and eco-literacy. What is ecological literacy and eco-literacy? It refers to the understanding of the intricate relationship between living organisms and their environment. It encompasses knowledge about ecosystems, biodiversity, and the interdependence of all life forms. Ecologically literate individuals possess a deep appreciation for nature's interconnectedness and strive to live in harmony with it. This literacy is crucial in addressing environmental challenges and promoting sustainable practices. By fostering ecological literacy, we can cultivate a society that values and protects our planets for future generations. So, what is eco-literacy? Eco-literacy refers to the understanding of ecological principles and the ability to apply them in daily life. It encompasses knowledge about the interconnectedness of all living beings and the environment. Eco-literate literate individuals possess deep comprehension of how ecosystems functions, recognizing that every action has consequences for both humans and nature. Eco-literacy is an essential tool for navigating our complex world sustainably. By fostering an understanding of ecological principles and encouraging responsible decision-making, it equips individuals with knowledge needed to protect our planet's fragile ecosystem for future. Ecological literacy and eco-literacy when it comes to general conceptions of the environment. 
Ecological literacy and eco-literacy are crucial in addressing environmental challenges. Ecological literacy provides a foundation for understanding how ecosystem functions, enabling us to develop okay. sustainable practices that minimize our impact on the environment. Well, the eco-literacy eco takes this understanding further by emphasizing the need for systematic change in our relationship with the nature. Ecological literacy and eco-literacy when it comes to dominant education and educational objectives. Ecological literacy and eco-literacy are two terms that have gained um, significant attention in recent years. As the need for environmental awareness and sustainability becomes increasingly important, while both concepts aim to promote an understanding of ecological system, but they differ in their educational objectives. Ecological literacy focuses on providing individuals with the knowledge and skills necessary to understand the intricate relationship between living organisms and their environment. It emphasizes scientific concepts such as biodiversity, ecosystem, and climate change. The primary objectives of ecological literacy is to equip individuals with the tools needed to make informed decisions about environmental issues. On the other, on the other hand, eco-literacy eco goes beyond scientific knowledge by incorporating ethical considerations and values into its educational objectives. It aims to cultivate a sense of responsibility towards nature and promote sustainable practices. We are down here to the last part of this report, the ecological literacy and eco-literacy when it comes to primary pedagogical approaches. Ecological literacy and eco-literacy are primary pedagogical approaches that play a vital role in creating environmentally conscious citizens. By equipping individuals with knowledge about eco-ecology and nurturing their emotional connections with nature, these approaches empower people to become active participants in protecting our planet's fragile ecosystem. One example of ecological literacy is understanding the concepts of biodiversity. This involves recognizing the importance of diverse ecosystems and species for maintaining a healthy planet. Ecoliteracy takes this step further by considering how human actions impact biodiversity and what can be done to preserve it. Another strategy is fostering a sense of connection with nature through outdoor experiences. Spending time in natural environment allows individuals to observe firsthand how ecosystem functions and develop an appreciation for their complexity. I think that's end my report. Thank you for listening.